Can you cook a brisket and reheat it the next day without making it dry? We're gonna find out in this video and my family's gonna tell me if they noticed the difference. So crack a beer and let's get smoking. Hello, barbecue family. If you're like me, you don't enjoy getting up at 3 a.m. in the morning just to smoke a brisket in time for dinner. I had enough sleep deprivation in my army days. I'm done with that nonsense. So what I'm gonna do is Saturday morning, I'm going to wake up at 10 a.m. I'm going to have a leisurely morning, have a nice breakfast. I'll take my brisket out of the fridge around 10 a.m. I'll pop it in the freezer for about 30 minutes to an hour just to get it nice and firmed up for easier trimming. I'm gonna trim it up, I'm going to apply some rub, and for this brisket, I'm going to apply some ground pounder garlic rub from uh, Burn Pit Barbecue. These guys are a veteran owned business that make natural rubs, they're GMO free, and they're really tasty. They're making some really good stuff over there at Burn Pit Barbecue. So I'm gonna put a link to them in the description section below if you wanna check them out. I'm also adding a bit of extra coarse grain black pepper to my rub because I like a little tingle on my brisket. We're gonna put the brisket on at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm putting a water pan into my pellet smoker and also a amazing pellet tray just to add some more smoke flavor because it's really tough to get some nice authentic Texas style smoke on a brisket in a pellet smoker. So I like to give it a little bit of extra kick with either a pellet tube or one of these amazing tray smokers. We're gonna leave the brisket on for about four hours for it to form up a nice crispy and dark bark. I like to take my briskets a little bit past the stall, get them nice and sweated out, just like a boxer preparing for the big fight. And then right before I wrap it, I dope them up a little bit with a bit of beef consomme, AKA brisket magic sauce. Would barbecue Jesus approve? Probably not, but he'll forgive me. Then it's back on the smoker in a pan until it probes tender like room temperature butter in the thickest part of the flat. Do not pull it off the smoker until then. Don't do it. Three hours later, this beef baby's done and we're going to let it vent for 15 minutes and then pop it right into the fridge. And here's why. Normally I'd let my brisket rest for about two hours, but by the time it's done when I'm using this method, it's around 11 p.m. at night when I pull my brisket. So I don't wanna stay up until one or two. So what I do is I just pop it right in the fridge. It's gonna rest, it's gonna come down in temperature, it's gonna reabsorb those juices, and then it's gonna chill overnight. And it's gonna be completely food safe and ready for me to reheat in the morning. So that's why I do it that way. The next day, I took the pan out of the fridge, plugged a probe thermometer into the brisket, wrapped it tight in foil, so there's no openings, it's really tight. And I set the oven to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll take about four to five hours to get it to 165, but reheating it nice and slow is gonna prevent moisture loss. It's gonna prevent it from drying out and it's gonna give it time to reabsorb all those juices that it's sitting in the pan in. All right, this brisket's reached 165, so we're gonna cut into it, see what we got. And now let's take a look at it. So lots of juice retained, brisket waterfall going on there. All right. So let's see what we're looking at. It looks really nice, but that's because it's covered in the juices. We'll do the pull test. Stretchy, stretchy, a little bit of snap, so that's perfectly cooked. To me, it tastes like it just came off the smoker and was rested for maybe two hours. Um, I'm not tasting any diminishment in terms of moisture or anything like that. That's pretty darn good brisket. Let's see what my family thinks of it. All right, guys, we're here with my sister-in-law and my brother-in-law, and this is what it's all about. I love barbecue because you guys, I don't think you often get barbecue like this. Never. Well, yours, well, yours is the best. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're making me blush. Okay, well, this is brisket. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. And uh, why don't you guys go ahead and look have at a it. taste. Look at it. Look at this. Holy moly. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look at that dripping. Like, yeah. <laughs> can, like some piece, please? can you slice that in half? So how does it compare to the Wagyu brisket that I smoked at uh, Thanksgiving that you guys tried? I need to get like a big full piece for like... Yeah, go for it. The texture definitely is more melt in your mouth. Mm, compared to Thanksgiving, mm, even the bark is like different. The bark has more flavor in it. For mm, sure. Interesting. Uh, honest impression? Yeah, honest. I like the Thanksgiving meat flavor better. Yeah. Uh, I think you did a nicer job on the bark on this one. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, that's my Yeah, very, very okay. Like picky. this texture. Yeah. Thanksgiving taste. Do you think it's dry? No. No, it's pretty juicy. It's very juicy. I agree I, I agree with you. Yeah, this is um yeah. this is a grade below the wagyu. So yeah. the yeah. wagyu has a lot more fat in it, for yeah. sure. It's it's like your preparation though is mm. Perfect. My but in terms of moist, I keep asking this question. <laughs> like in terms of moisture, does it feel like it's drying out your mouth or like? It's definitely drier than the wagyu. But okay. It's, it's drying my mouth out a little bit. Yeah. But I kind of like it. It's kind of got. It's kind of got a little like um like a roast beefy sort of um like you know when you have like a roast beef sandwich and it has that sort of finish at the end. Yes. It's got a bit of that finish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's to die. It's an Uncle C brisket. So, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> So the verdict is um, pretty good. The verdict is amazingly good. I would say I would say A plus for everything that you've done, and I would say the meat itself is like yeah. a B plus. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So um, the premise of the video is smoking it the day before and then reheating it mm -hmm. when uh, when you guys want to eat it. So I smoked this yesterday and then I just reheated it up to uh, 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Yeah, no, I would have thought this would have been smoked today, yeah, actually. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good to know. Because yeah. a lot of people like to, well, they don't have time to wake up at like 3 in the morning. So yeah. they want to they want to smoke it the day before and then have it ready for, for dinner the next day. Right. So they're not rushed. But So did you just yeah. slice it today? Yes. Because like the bark is like a little bit extra crispier than normal. And I'm yeah. wondering if that's from when you reheated it. Like it's kind it's, of got, It might be because it got a little bit more heat throughout the process than and like it normally it would have. Like it'll get more of that in my yard if you're yeah. just like, depending on how you're doing it. But yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's awesome. I like it. I don't know. I like that. <laughs> no, I, I'm saying that's a bonus for sure. Look away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to bring you guys some more barbecue then. Oh. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Uncle you Steve. So much. You're welcome. You're welcome. We're so lucky to be related to you. <laughs> so based on my brother-in-law's comment that it tasted a little bit like roast beef, I may have overcooked my brisket a little bit. Not my best brisket, but as you heard from my family, it still tasted awesome and they couldn't tell the difference that it was cooked the day before. They didn't know that it had been reheated. They thought it was awesome, it was delicious. It was probably just a little bit overcooked, but that was my fault from the day before and not because I reheated it. I didn't follow rule number 80 in my 100 brisket mistakes video, which by the way, you guys should totally check out because there's tons of great information in there. All right guys, see you in the next video.